and I had it today, I'll be chipping a slim PSP, and this is a slim, it ain't uh, it's just chrome, it ain't a 3000, no microphone and the logo's there, right, here you know, you, you're gonna need a modded PSP already, okay, so basically, turn it on, and you wanna go to... What you want to go to is um you want to go to your memory stick and have already downloaded your PSP tool. I'm gonna click on that. Remember, this will only work if you already have a modded PSP chipped. Okay, uh, let me just go back because the background it gave me wasn't too good. Basically, each time you click on it, it gives you a different color background. <laughs> okay, basically, first thing you want to do is make your magic memory stick. And go to create magic memory stick. Then we pick what kind of firmware you're going to want for your PSP. I'm going to be a solid 5.0 MP3 4. Click on that. Get information about who made it. This one, the creator was Dark Alex. Uh, okay, and. Okay, this is going to take a little while, so just watch and wait for the load to finish. Please leave your comment and ask any questions. Remember, you're gonna need a modded PSP before you do anything of this. I don't know, borrow your friends or ask your friend to do this. It's really nice and simple. By the way, if any of you, any of you are asking about the little big little big planet PSP, if it's not working. Well, basically, what you're gonna need is a 5.50 GN D2. I've tried it. I had to upgrade and download again, and I that on the GN D2, and it worked. Alright, uh, it's nearly done. You know, it's just one percentage in now. Eight percent, nearly done. That's not what I want to do is click yes. 
then it's gonna ask you that you have to have you need to convert your battery remember to convert your battery you're gonna need a fat psp if it doesn't work on 3000 psps or slims you're gonna click yes it's gonna tell you how you want to boot the pandora so basically you click whatever you want i'm gonna click nice and simple the x button cross okay and now it's done now what you want to check as well what um like if your battery has already converted so you check battery serial and then it should say service mode if it's not in service mode you've got to convert it and convert into service mode okay now what we're gonna do is take out our battery and insert it into the PSP you're going to hack. First you want to insert your memory stick. And then you could just stick it in and hold the X button. And but hold the X button so it goes to the Pandora options. Okay, basically what you have here now is what you want to get. So it's install the MP3 or the official. At first you want to do is install 5.0 MP3. Okay, now I just gotta wait for that to load. It's much more simpler than using computer programs and like uh, making a magic memory stick on the computer and opening up your battery and then not being able to use it again or hurting your battery. Yeah, and then um, you might also know that um, slim batteries, well, basically they're slimmer, um, but that they wouldn't fit on a fat PSP. Well, they would fit, but they wouldn't work. Um, but the fat, the fat, the fat batteries would work. And this, this um, program works as well to like um, unbrick your PSP. So if you're using this. Um, this video to unbrick a PSP as well, or work in the same way. Um, by accident, I bricked this PSP, had the red screen of death, death, the R S O D, but I was able to unbrick it with the PSP tool. Okay. Nearly done. Oh yeah, and I should have showed you the that this PSP was not a not a, not a um wasn't really a PSP. It was a normal PSP. Not much to be booting. Right now, what you want to do is check your system settings. And, oh yeah, and I'll give you the nickname Pandora for some reason. And check your system information, and you should be a 5.00 and 33 minus 4. Okay, thank you for watching. Leave any of your comments. If I had any more time, I would show you the little big planet 5.00 GND2. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.